speed. Careful, don't push too much. On a passion for perfection. Underway in the Daytona. Based on the thrill of the paddock. Based on lightweight carbonium. And heavyweight braking control. Okay, let's just go out for one more. On sleepless nights. Based on the progressive roar of the engine. Based on the DNA of those who always push the limits. Based on victory. A super sports car inspired by racing triumphs created to dominate the road. Huracan STO, based on a true story. The challenge this time was to transfer the experience of the most recent years of motorsport from the successful Super Trofeo race and GT3 vehicles that have win for three years on a road Daytona 24 hour. The Huracan STO is a rear-wheel drive car developed for track use that is extremely fun on the road and top performing on the track. On STO, we integrated lots of solutions developed over the last 10 years of motorsport competition. The air ducts increase the cooling and keep the rear under hood temperature under control for different driving conditions. The shark fin integrated on the rear hood has been designed with the objective of improving the dynamic behavior of the car, especially when cornering. The new front splitter is designed to manage in the best way possible the incoming flow of car underbody, and in particular, it is useful to obtain an attach and clean flow towards the air intake in the air deflectors on the front and rear underbody. The air ducts on the hood have a double objective, to improve engine cooling and generate front downforce. The lower increase the air flow exit from the wheelhouse to reduce the pressure level inside and increase the front downforce. To enhance the dynamic qualities of the car, brake cooling has been developed by introducing underbody air intakes with dedicated ducts and optimized nolders. The brake cooling system on front and rear axle has been developed with the double objective to cool down both disc and caliper. All these components were made in carbon fiber and more than 75% of the exterior body of the car is made with this material. But we didn't stop here. We also adopt lightweight solutions like naked interiors, magnesium rim and a lighter windshield. All these solutions lead to a weight reduction of 43 kg versus Huracan Performante. Professional drivers select his own ideal setup on the steering wheel and the mechanics finalize the last modification at the pits. What we have achieved is with the combined use of LDVI, rear wheel steering, magnetite and torque vectoring, what is managed by the driver on the track and mechanics is optimized in real time with the anima in STO. On STO, Lamborghini launched the CCMR brakes that are taken from Formula One which offer incredible braking power and constant performance without fading over time in order to exploit vehicle potential while driving on the track. This provides utmost driving confidence. Pedal feel is one of the biggest benefits with this new CCMR technology. The pedal always remain very stiff even in condition of continuous track use. It provides the vehicle with a completely new set of functions, which, by using predictive logic, works in real time, estimating the actual temperature of brake system components and wear, and the aging status of disc and fluid respectively. This feature allowed the car to be driven at its full performance. And to complete the perfect package, we also developed specific tire for outstanding performance of STO. The STO, therefore, represents the most fun you can have on the road, but at the same time guarantee a performance level typically of our motorsports car, but with extreme easy of driving for all drivers. The lap time is the true performance indicator of a sport car. 
the STO is almost as fast as an authentic GT3 on slick tires at Daytona 24 hour. Lamborghini Squadra Corsi is born uh, at the end of 2013. I remember uh, we went in Daytona to have a look on this iconic race that I didn't see even before when I was a, a race driver. And I was a particularly surprised competing there. After this first experience, we start to work very hard uh, to create, to develop the Huracan GT3. The technical challenges uh, when we build a race car are based on three main pillars. The safety, first of all. The second is performance and drivability. And the third pillar is uh, the reliability. Normally, to develop a race car takes uh, almost a couple of years. Based on this, the engineering department is working hard to define all the constraints to develop the race car. And then the development phase is able to detect and simulate all single aspects of the racing environment where the car will run in the next year. In January 16, so after two years uh, from the first uh, trip in America uh, in Daytona, uh, we debut with the Huracan GT3 uh, as a first race uh, with all the customer teams uh, at the time. And since the beginning, uh, uh, the target uh, was clearly to be very competitive, to try to win, of course. In the last uh, four years, in the last four participation, Lamborghini was always uh, the manufacturer with more cars on the grid. The victory in Daytona is of course uh, a dream come true. I remember very well the first two editions. When we uh, took the first victory in 2018, uh, it was a great result. A great result uh, not only for Lamborghini Squadra Corse, but uh, for all uh, uh, the company. The secret to do this uh, not, is not only a term, in terms of technical skills and preparation, but it's also the human factor, the most successful key to reach the winning 24 hour. Because I can tell you that after 24 hours, you, you cannot find a decision with emotion. You must determine the decision by a strategy. Daytona is very particular because uh, you have to mix a lot of ingredients together. It's a very mix uh, of different uh, experience that has to combine together to achieve the best result uh, possible. Of course, the team is fundamental. Of course, uh, the support of the factory is fundamental. In all the endurance races, uh, it's a real teamwork that makes the difference. Starting from the race event preparation, uh, as usual, uh, we start uh, to prepare Daytona in October every year when the race is uh, at the end of uh, January, because we need all this time uh, to put together the best, uh, as I said before, ingredients possible to achieve the best result. The critical issue during the 24 hour, in particular for Daytona, is the different from European uh, environment in racing. Uh, the racetrack uh, is very unique. The layout of the track is very particular with this uh, long banking, uh, long straight, uh, and the infield uh, that is very particular because uh, you need the best handling possible uh, with the car that has to be combined uh, with the best stability and top speed uh, uh, on the first sector of the track uh, along the, the long straight uh, of Daytona. Today we are uh, very proud uh, considering uh, that Lamborghini is the first and only manufacturer in the world able to win uh, three times in a row uh, the Daytona 24.